Hello friends, um, a little bit something different for you in this video today. I was having a conversation with somebody uh, because of all the craziness going on right now when we were talking about what are things that you can do right now to uh, improve yourself, to um, get the most out of yourself, even if you feel like you're stuck in place. And a lot of us feel that way right now with everything that's going on. And one of the first things that came to mind for me was, hey, read some books. What are some things that you can read that will help you not only deal with what's going on right now, but also improve yourself, uh, make yourself a better version of yourself um, as you move forward? So I decided to share uh, my nine favorite books right now. Um, I'm not going to say these are my nine favorite books of all time because I know my list changes, um, but I also always find myself reading a copy of stuff I've read before and really enjoyed, uh, but also picking up new stuff. So I'm going to share those nine books with you and encourage you to get a copy, read them. Um, they can help you um, a lot um, as you're thinking about um, yourself and improving your mindset, improving your business, bringing in more clients, taking care of your clients. So let me uh, let me get started. One of my favorite books of all time is uh, is an oldie. It's called Life is Not a Game of Perfect. It is by Dr. Bob Rotella, who is a sports psychologist and an executive coach. Uh, the book is about finding your real talent and making it work for you. Um, I've read this book um, many times over. Um, I probably picked up my first copy um, 15, 20 years ago. Um, just this past year, I shared it with a bunch of my clients. And one of my favorite quotes from the book is, and excuse me for uh, looking away from the calendar, uh, from the camera, but it says, in a very real sense, you are writing your autobiography every day of your life. And you have a chance to develop real talent, to develop the traits that will lead to success and happiness. Real talent will enable you to write a great autobiography if you so choose. Choose wisely. Um, choosing to write your autobiography when things are going really well um, is kind of easy. Um, but are you writing your autobiography when things are a little bit tougher and you're being asked to improve your business? Um, and I think that's maybe a, a big theme for what I want to share with you during the rest of this video. And I won't go into as much detail about each one of the books, but Life is Not a Game of Perfect. Great book. A second book that I want to suggest is by a good friend of mine, Rob Knapp. It's called The Supernova Advisor probably one of the best books ever written for financial advisors. It's all about delivering a high level of service to a very focused groups of your most ideal clients. So as you think about your business going forward, who is it that you want to serve? Who are your most ideal clients and what is the best way to serve them? Rob's book will help you do that. Uh, next um, up is uh, Bo uh, Burlingham's uh, Small Giants. Um, I actually gave a copy of this book to all of the clients uh, who I work with in my Inner Circle Mastermind at our meeting in 2019 um, in Phoenix. Um, and this book is all about not being so focused on growth but being focused on being great. Small giants are companies that don't care if they're the biggest company in the world. They just want to make sure they're doing the best that they possibly can, that they are great at what they do. Great book. A mindset book that I recently picked up is uh, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Sounds like a crazy title. Um, and uh, it's an interesting book. It combines neuroscience and the way you think um, along with sp spirituality. So you can think about the things that you need to do to get the most out of yourself. Get out of your own way. So breaking the habit of being yourself. 
Um, another sort of classic book that I go back to um, fairly often is called uh, The Referral of a Lifetime. And I believe there is going to be a revitalization of the referral process in the financial advice business. A lot of advisors have gotten away from talking to people about helping the people that they know. And the referral of a lifetime teaches you that you probably already know all of the people that you need to know to be able to grow your business into the future. It's a great book. Uh, another book um, on the spirituality side is called Breathing Underwater. Um, and this one's probably the most different from any of the other books that I'm recommending in that this is a book that's all about getting better in touch with God, getting better in touch with God through the way that you practice your spirituality. Uh, the author of this book, um, Richard Rohr, is a Franciscan monk. And he talks about the fact that we um, are all addicts in some ways because of our addictive personalities, this addictive world that we live in. So he walks through actually the 12 steps that are used in Alcoholics Anonymous from a spirituality perspective and how we can break away from those addictions that we might have that keep us being, uh, keep us from being uh, the best um, sons and daughters um, of God that we possibly can. Great book. Um, I just uh, got back about a month ago from our 2020 Inner Circle meeting with my clients, and the book that I shared with them this year is The Energy Bus by John Gordon. And again, another oldie but goodie, uh, a book that most of the people in the group had not read before. And this book talks about the fact that you are the driver of your bus. You are in control no matter what you think may be going on around you. You are the driver of your bus. And one of the uh, greatest pieces of fuel that you can have for driving your bus is positive energy, controlling the way that you drive your bus with positive energy. Um, another classic um, that I've uh, gone back to recently is Raving Fans. Uh, we're in a period right now where we're taking care of our clients. Delivering extraordinary client service um, is extremely important. And this classic book really goes back to some of those points because you know we talk about wanting our clients to be Raving Fans, but are we really doing the right things to make them Raving Fans? And finally, I would be remiss if I didn't share my absolute uh, favorite book because I wrote it. It's called Delivering the Ultimate Client Experience. Um, it's all about delivering that um, raving fan service in the financial services space. Um, it goes through some very practical step-by-step -step things that you can be doing right now to serve your clients better uh, no matter where this market goes, no matter how crazy or un uncrazy times are, just being disciplined uh, in terms of the way that you serve your clients. So that's the last book that I want to recommend to you. Um, bottom line is, you have a choice as to where you take your business. You have a choice in terms of how you think about things, how you lead others, how you care for and serve your clients, really serve them and how you bring new clients into your practice. They're all choices that you have. You have control, no matter what may be going on around you, no matter what may be influencing you or distracting you. But if you kind of want to settle into a groove um, and get away from the TV and the talking heads and all the, all the crazy noise that's around you, I would recommend any and all of these nine books. They will serve you well. I hope, I hope that you take the time to check them out. Talk soon.